Hi, I'm David, archivist at Museum of the Mind, and for this video we're at St George's Fields. Bethlehem moved to this site, which is now the Imperial War Museum, in 1815. It was very much bigger than it was today, with two large wings either side of the building that remains, and wings and grounds extending from the rear. The distinctive dome was only added in the 1830s, but swiftly became the most recognisable part of the building. Although a large hospital, this Bethlehem sought to provide its patients with a restful and relaxing environment, and hoped that through this they could treat and help patients. It was still a charity, but rather than taking donations from visitors, it existed on rent from lands that had been given to it. Our third writer is Antonia White, who was a patient in this Bethlehem. Antonia wrote a number of fiction books based on her life. She was admitted to the hospital in the early 1920s, shortly after the end of her first marriage, and it features in her third novel, Beyond the Glass. Although dogged by depression all her life, her admission to Bethlehem in 1922 was the only time she was hospitalised with her illness. Her fullest description of Bethlehem actually comes in her short story, Surprise Visit, where she returns accidentally to St George's Fields. What startled her even more than its sudden appearance was her instant recognition of that grimy stone face, with steps leading up to a pillared portico and a dome rising above. Now, abruptly confronted with the place, she felt angry and almost insulted. It had no right to burst in on her crudely like that. She glared at it like some intrusive acquaintance who had appeared uninvited. Moreover, there was something indecent in this public exhibition of itself right on a main London road. In her imagination, it had always been remote and secretive, approachable only by a maze of tortuous paths. To think it stood there all those years within a few hundred yards of the old Vic, shamelessly waiting to catch her eye. 